For the past 10 days we've been working in a coffee shop in the bazaar in Erbil and we've made really good friends with some of the people that also work there and the guys we're with now, they don't work in the coffee shop, they actually, for a job, smell children's hands for around about $8 a time and diagnose the children with different illnesses. It's all a bit weird. They've invited us today to go to the mountains with them and explore the mountains in these huge cars and we're in them now and they have their bird with them. Luckily, Ibrahim, the guy we're convoying with, has the bird. <laughs> Once we had successfully retrieved the parrot, we made our way up the mountain in convoy with a frenzy of other huge four-wheel drive trucks and cars. However, it wasn't a smooth ride and there were multiple moments when we thought we wouldn't make it. Just witnessing Aaron getting ready for his uh, big descent out of the car yes. without his shoes on. Descending. Aaron. Descending. That's on the That's on the On one minute after I'm there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 On one minute. Sorun? Yeah. <laughs> Cold? <laughs> <laughs> the people we were with didn't speak English, so it was only when we got to the top that I realised we were attending a car convention and would spend the day watching car stunts on the top of the mountain. Oh. 
Someone just made it up the hill and I think it's the first one that's been done today because everyone's clapping so much. My brother is going to welcome. Your brother. Oh, thank you. And I'm the only girl and I'm surrounded by so many men. It's quite funny. Alongside all the huge jeeps, there was a vintage Russian minibus and to my surprise, it got up the slopes better than a lot of the more sturdy vehicles. Cooker the Parrot was the center of aesthetic attention, his white feathers gleaming alongside the snow. The rest of the afternoon was spent cooking on the stove that had been dragged up the mountain and drinking hot chai.